Welcome to The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa, where your panelists discuss thought-provoking topics in an atmosphere of seriousness, decisiveness, and laughter. Here we call a spade a spade. And like we say here, no holds barred. Today, I'm talking about virtual signaling or virtue signaling in the representation of Down syndrome. In the same vein, Ejemai is asking if abortion is an option. Abdul Sanusi is talking on the reopening of the Lekki toll gate. And Elijah is asking us to put nationalism beyond tribal sentiments. Sit back. The panelists are here to present your Sunday dose of provoking thoughts after this break. Monday, 21st March 2022 was World Down Syndrome Day. World Down Syndrome Day, or WDSD, is a global awareness day started in 2006 and which has been officially observed by the UN since 2012. Now pay attention. The date for World Down Syndrome Day is the 21st day of the third month to mirror the condition which causes a third or extra copy that is trisomy of the 21st chromosome. Hence, the celebrations on the 21st day of the third month. Having a daughter with Down syndrome, it is a special day where we raise awareness through advocacy, but also celebrate and have fun with our special children. However, I began to notice something this year on social media. Brands were communicating with Happy World Down Syndrome Day posts and beautiful e-flyers, even posting staff members wearing mismatched socks. On a side note, for those of you who don't know, we wear mismatched socks on this day to signify chromosomes as chromosomes are said to look like socks. The messages on the posts were lovely and nice and oh, I'm sure it was meant to be a feel good thing to make us feel ever so grateful and all warm and mushy inside. However, when you look closer, all these brands were doing is virtue signaling. Virtue signaling is the act of speaking or behaving in a way that's meant to demonstrate one's good moral values. For example, if a person widely proclaims on social media that they strongly support a certain cause just because they want to show others how caring they are, that person is virtue signaling. On World Down Syndrome Day, I was honestly quite offended by all of this. That is, brands wishing happy WDSD to show they're progressive and caring, but in reality are doing nothing to highlight the cause for which we advocate for. In Nigeria, I'm not aware of any brand, be it bank, telco, food and beverage, industry, fashion, etc., that work to include people with Down syndrome and other special needs in their communications and campaigns. This year's WDSD theme was Inclusion Means. And really, what does that mean? People with Down syndrome and their families have bank accounts, they use phones, they eat and drink, they wear clothes, and so on, like the rest of society. Yet we are still to see people with Down syndrome represented in any significant way. Whether it is vocational training and being employed or in media and advertising campaigns, Internationally, people with Down syndrome are starring in movies, being employed, opening businesses, modeling. In the past year, there has been a model with Down syndrome on the cover of Vogue, and another is now a Victoria's Secret model. In the UK, there is even a modeling agency that specifically represents people with disabilities, and they're incredibly successful because the private and public sectors have woken up to the importance of multilateral representation. Until brands in Nigeria are willing to diversify and truly be inclusive with representing the Down syndrome community, which includes those with special needs, their parents, carers and service providers, they should please not wish me happy World Down Syndrome Day and stop pretending to care. It's patronising and insulting. Hashtag no virtue signalling. <laughs> I know, I'm a feisty one. No, it's, it's good, it's good. I, I, I feel 
your your concern, your pain, and the rest. It, it's always good for us to mean something, not just do it for doing sake. Everybody's doing it. Let's join. We wanna be. We just want to show that oh, we are aware of today is this day, but no real meaning attached to it. I guess that's where you are coming from. Yeah. Stakeholders from from government to everybody. Government in the sense that uh, we have children. Uh, let's go to the uh, public um, hospitals, for mm -hmm. instance, public health centers. Not every mothers we have have the necessary education or financial means mm -hmm. to support these children. So what can the government do to? support these indigent mothers to take care of these children that has this they are part of the human resource they are not useless they are useful they exactly. can achieve greetings just like you said they feature in movies in foreign mm -hmm. movies um, for, um feature in foreign movies and so why can't they do well in the country they can actually grow to become uh someone very uh, you know i remember some couple of months ago i was walk, watching a documentary that featured that uh, where they want like a drama to actually pass a message. A, a, a scientist got onto a plane and he had Down syndrome, sat beside someone that yes, was irritated. Yes, I saw it. You saw that yes, movie. Yes. Only for the man to find out that the physics book he was reading mm -hmm. was written by by this professor. So, you know, um, you've touched on, on a subject that is actually glaring, but we don't know how bad it is. Mm -hmm. Because when, uh, when you were um, re reading out, um, the topic also. I was like thinking, this is actually quite deep. People will jump onto onto the next bangle mm -hmm. just to, just to be included, and yet, what exactly are they doing? And you're right, um, as in, these are people. I, are you tell, are you trying to say, it, especially in Nigeria, that because somebody has a disability, they can't work, they can't do anything? So, what's the future for them? It, it, we're even getting uh, ahead of ourselves, like. We even need to go back because it, it first starts with acceptance in the mind. Yeah. It yeah. starts with the mind because, and, and, and that's why this virtue signaling thing really annoyed me that day because they can do so much without having to do too much. Do you know what I mean? Just to include someone with disabilities, that visual statement itself goes a long goes way, a long way. Yeah. to put a child that, or an adult with drama. down syndrome in an advert that is entering people's homes it you know they say a picture says a thousand words and that does a huge amount of adverse advocacy just by the existence of that content but you've yeah you've um, opened, you've hey, Jemai, a okay, um, put something. yes um, well we need to hear from um olayami because she is an advocate like me in this Dr. a parent Jemai. advocate yes yeah absolutely that's one thing that myself and Charlie will share i think more than um, the people living with their disability but so for instance i'm using our Unfortunately for us as Nigerians and people in Nigeria, we find out that individuals are the forefront of advocating for yeah. issues, pushing for differences, and making the marks that need to be made. Way, way ahead before the government now eventually, like we all say, yeah. jump on the matter. So if that is the case that happens with us back home, we need the private sector mm -hmm. to be the next set of people on board. So whilst we have the individual soldiers like Tony and myself, the National Down Syndrome Association of Nigeria, the Mori Mu Foundation, mm -hmm. and all of these individuals pushing for the people living with Down Syndrome in our country, it only makes sense for the private sector, the banks, the telcos, like Tony has mentioned, to be the next in line. So it's appalling when we don't take a stand on these things, they're not actively pursuing to increase the interest of these individuals and they're quick to come on social media to say happy world down syndrome day. Really? Exactly. What more justification do you have to say that? What have you done with these people? What channels have you opened? What events have you sponsored? How have you made your mm -hmm. life better? Mm -hmm. Do you know anything in any way, form or shape? So why do you not think it's right for you to come out and plus it on their website, oh happy world down to them? Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, it's better than like I said, you must come on board and help these individuals because you don't yet have the the, the financial well to mm -hmm. you know to reach a larger audience. So we need the private sector to come and fill our hands and stand behind us while we advocate for a better life for people. 
And, and I think you Thank make such you. a good point, Ola Yemi. Um, and I know what some of these private sectors are going to say, that, oh, it may affect the bottom line because people might not accept it because they think, think um, that um, they perceive that it would maybe not be good for their business or their bottom line. And that's where government comes and that's, and that's absolute nonsense. That's rubbish. That's absolute that's, nonsense. That's, but that's, I already know that's kind of the response, the initial, you know, kickback that will happen. Um, but it's actually nonsense because proven if you look at statistics internationally that when you do have these inclusive campaigns it actually benefits um, um, the bottom line for, for those companies if you look at Dove in the UK about 20 years ago or 15 years ago they did that a campaign which showed all different kind of colors yeah. of skin and bodies and that was the most successful campaign ever so it just it just shows that Honestly, they will fall back on the initial kickback reaction. But we as individuals are, uh, are at the forefront. We live this every day and we're pushing. But it is time for private sector to stand up, government to stand up. Government is doing far more than private sector. So yeah, let's just give, yeah. give the government some really? kudos on that. Yes, yeah, yeah. because, the, because of their, their, um, their law putting in inclusive ed education. Okay. So but that's written into that. law, but they have to do more, do more than, than that. that. But they're doing more, far more than the private sector. Sure. So, um, so they basically there's a law, and yet the private sector have not have not actually act upon it. No, in terms of education. Okay. Okay, but what we are looking for is is also some kind of affirmative action. You have, you know, companies are are told to hire a certain amount i think 35 percent of the workforce have to be female yes okay we're not expecting 35 percent of the company yet to be people with disabilities but we need affirmative action in this because people with disabilities whether it's down syndrome um whether it's cerebral palsy can work and do work and can do a great job if given the chance. But the, the society is so prejudiced that they are not given the opportunity to be full-fledged mem members of society. And if you think right. about a private sector, you know, a bank choosing to do a campaign or a food brand or a fashion brand deciding to say, you know, we're going to take this on and we're going to have a model with, with Down syndrome or we're going to have an actor with Down, Down syndrome in our commercial, that goes a long, long way because of the number of people who get yeah. to see it but they they are seen as human beings down syndrome is just a factor of who they are yeah and the realization that they do have bank accounts yeah. they do have phones they do interact so sure. why they I mean, if we take underwear they wear pants they wear bra <laughs> so look at Victoria's I mean, I mean, secret I mean, because their customers are also people with special yeah. needs like like what you said um from from history Okay. If, um, so, if um, we have, uh, yeah, you, you no, if um, if something is not done like before, um, if you take um, this example, you, you never thought there would be a black American president exactly. until the um, the Amer um, Hollywood started um, showing black, um, yeah, yeah, twenty four started yeah. showing black, black. president. Yeah. That's that changed that's people's up, um, yeah. um, narrative and mind. Yeah. So that's what needs to be done. People need to see a yeah. disabled person in a wheelchair oh. or disandro. Yeah. To, um, um, if they don't, yeah. if that does not happen, everything just Fluff. talk, nothing. Exactly. You know. Well, on that note, up next is Edgemai. Stay with us.